All right. Here's my, I want to say 1978 Allen 602D digital uh, pipe organ. It was one of the first models they made that, well, among one of the first models they made. It actually had digital computers in them, or what they call computers. And actually, what those look like are these big green um, boards here, these big green boards here with all the uh, uh, chips and stuff on them. These are the internal guts of the organ. Um, the reason that I have placed them or pulled them out is so that I could turn it into basically a big MIDI console, which means that I can plug this into any uh, PC or computer or anything like that that runs a, a MIDI program and play a vast number of different instruments through this console. Um, it's amazing that I replace all of this and all of that with one, two, three, four boards. That's it. Four. It's amazing. All this other stuff is just stuff that was left over. I'll probably eventually rip all that out, but right now I'm done with what I, I need to do. Um, and I just wanted to explain it just a little bit and in a little bit of detail as to what's going on here. Um, both keyboards, you can see the one on top, there's one directly underneath that, are all wired into this board and this board. I believe I have it, this is the one on bottom, the bottom keyboard, the, uh, the grate, and this one is the swell, or the, the upper keyboard. The pedals, which you might be able to see just a few of them right through this hole here, these here, are all wired in through these cables into this board, as are the pistons, which are running all through here and through these wires. And then through these, if you follow them, they go up to the to the upper manual. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, the pistons are actually the combinations. And I'll go ahead and show them to you. Are are these buttons right here? Are all these buttons? These are different combination of pipes. Instead of actually having to individually pick each one out with a with a stop, which is what these are, which those don't work. I, those will be a later project, but uh, you can switch in mid-song or playing in, in mid-stride and hit a button and completely change the sound without ever having to take your hands off the keyboard. Uh, I got those wired up, both the keyboards, the manuals. I don't have the pedal pistons or the toe studs, which are these metal things here. I don't have those wired in, and I don't have the uh, these two pedals here wired up. Um, eventually, I will get to that, but right now I've got it to where I can play it. Um... I can't play it for you right this second because the program I need is actually on what I'm using. This is a, a tablet. and uh, But, uh, yeah, so that's what that looks like. And uh, I have to say, give my thanks to um, Artisan Organs, which who I, I bought the system from. Uh, great group of people. Uh, Mark Anderson helped me out tremendously. Uh, and if you... You know, you have an organ and it doesn't sound all that great and you want to be able to play MIDI instruments through it. They're, they're definitely who you want to go through. Um, and I'll put a, um, a link to them at the bottom of this video. But um, so there it is. And it was very simple. Now, I, had to, I rewired the whole thing. You don't necessarily have to do that. But if you can see, each, each key has its own uh, chord. You don't necessarily have to do that. This one, it had the old aluminum wire in it, and I didn't want to leave anything to chance. I mean, you hear the stories of the aluminum wire catching fire. And I just, I didn't want to leave anything to chance. Now, it's only 5 volts. All this runs off of 5 volts. Believe it or not, each one of these boards runs off of 5 volts, supplied by this power supply here. Uh, I'm actually using the original amp rack to run the sound through from the, uh, the tablet here. Um... Which, this, there's a speaker sitting on top of that, one sitting up there, one sitting over there, and the other one right in the corner, right there. Uh, and, you know, this little little workshop uh, gets gets the moving, <laughs> especially with the big 32-foot pedals that I have on this program I'm using. I, I rock this whole barn, and I'm sure half the house, which is just a few feet away, 
But um, so there that is. If you have any questions, please uh, leave them in a comment. Uh, and um, I'll post later videos of, of it actually playing and explain how the controls are working, how I programmed it, and all that good stuff. But for right now, here's the wiring. Thanks.